here's how to do MIDI mapping in Ableton. So you're sending data from Max and receiving that data in Ableton. So the first thing you have to do is check your preferences, your MIDI preferences, and make sure these things are turned on. If you just, you don't actually need an IAC driver, if you're just communicating between Max and Ableton, IAC is inter-application communication. It means you can send it from other things, but if you're just working between Max and Ableton, that this from Max one and two will work. You just need to make sure that these are turned on. So track and remote are both turned on. Okay, so I'm going to pick an instrument here and I'm going to map to these two parameters and I'm going to control them in Max. So I'm going to use an object called control out. I have to give it, um, you see the argument, so I have to give it a port and device, um, a channel number, sorry, a port and a channel number. Okay, so I'm going to want to move this slider and have it control this here. So if I double click on this, I'll get from max one, this is where I'm going to send this data out. So now it's going to be sending here. If you notice this up in the corner, this will start blinking when it's receiving that MIDI data. See, it's blinking. Good. That means the data is being sent there. I just haven't mapped it yet. So now if I click on MIDI and pick what I want to map, you can see there's a little box around that highlighted. Now when I move it, that has mapped to there. I'll turn it back off. Check that that's working. It is. I can do it again, but I'm going to need a different channel number. So I'm going to send this on channel two. Oh, I didn't. And I have to do the same process, same from max one. Click on what I want to map, do this. Take it off, make sure it works. Cool. So now I can have something else control it, like uh, let's say it'll it'll change itself. We'll have it gradually move. Okay, metronome should give a bang out every second, generates a new random number between 0 and 127, uh, gives that to a line object, um, which will ask it to slowly ramp between whatever that number is and take half a second to do so. See if it works. It does. So now we plug it into this. Now this is moving by itself. Do the same thing again. So it can change the speed of that metro, I guess, so it doesn't. I think we've got one speed for both. Will it move a lot faster? A lot faster again. This is also basically a speed. So we could change that too. Make that faster. And now you can see it's a lot more chaotic. So there are two things. Speed of uh, the new number coming in, how often we're getting a new number to move to, and how fast we're moving to that number. That's what that's doing. Uh, And of course you can just keep doing this. Uh, there'll be 16 channels.
Okay, I haven't mapped these yet, so nothing's happening. So I've turned these off. The tricky thing you'll find is when you want to do some mapping that you can only have one thing and moving at a time because you have to map one by one. Uh, so I can actually just send all of these there and then just do it one by one. Mapped. 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 Okay. Turn that back off. Put these back on. Okay, so uh, if you don't want to, every time you open your patch, have to double click on this, do this. You can use a load mess object. And tell it from Apple F. Max one. Means that load mess is going to unload, send out this message. So once this opens, send out this message. Uh, if I double click on it, it also does it. So just to test that that works, I'll send that nowhere. I'll send them all nowhere. And now double click on this, see if it's going there. Yeah. Also, if I just waited a second, I would have seen that that has stopped moving because that's moving, that's not moving, so it mustn't be communicating. Now it's communicating again. So if I save this and then I open it uh, and I open these two things together, uh, they should the mapping should be saved um, and it should just work quite nicely. Uh, you can also then do this with... Uh, plugins. So if I clicked on this um, and I use this button, I can see some of these things here. So let's turn these off. And let's uh, see if we can map um, some of these things. Maybe that's enough. Okay. Yeah. So now those that num those two things are moving around as well. So we don't. We can use the same parameters or the same sliders multiple times and map them a bunch of different times. So this is the equivalent of doing this in software, where maybe I have a controller that has a bunch of sliders. Um, obviously, we can set buttons to do other things. If you want to send note data, then check out. No doubt. Similar thing, you have to send this out as well. 